a new multi-effect plugin has entered the chat. Tramtendo. What is going on guys? So today I'm checking out Finisher Neo and it is a multi-effect plugin by the company UJAM and this is the first plugin I've ever checked out by them. So hopefully it will leave a good impression on me because I have not checked out any of their other stuff and I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comment section. If you have ever used any UJAM stuff, just let me know and how you feel about this plugin. Of course, I definitely wanna hear from you guys and the link will be in the description box if you are very interested in this plugin. Hopefully you will. I did a demo and we're gonna check out some of the presets. You know the drill by now. So this is Finisher Neo in the flesh. This is how the UI looks like. What I'm gonna do is play the demo track and then I'll get back to talking about how it works. So again, Finisher Neo is a really simple multi-effect plugin that does a whole bunch of stuff. And what I can do here is I'm gonna highlight this loop and I'm gonna solo the track so we can get just the main melody or the chord progression from the hook. So, there's a couple of things that you could do with Finisher Neo, and as you can see, it's only three different parameters to work with, so that makes it really easy to mess with variants. And the preset I'm using is called Space Station. And then you have this middle knob where it allows you to morph in between the variants. And that makes it very easy to manipulate it with automation. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make an automation clip, but first I'm gonna mess with this morph knob here. So if you're in FL Studio, it doesn't matter which version this is because it works in pretty much everyone that everybody probably uses right now. So what I'm gonna do here is go to tools go to micros or not micros but last tweaked and from there it will tell you you know finisher neo chord effect and the automation so i'm going to create an automation clip from the stuff that i was messing with so uh, from there you know messing with some automation i'm going to make sure that track number nine is on so the automation can be received i'm going to choose something very simple here probably like a pulse and hope for the best here uh, just, i guess i grabbed yeah, there we go. So now that I have that, it has some weird stuff going on, but don't worry about that. We're just here to listen. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Let's listen. And you can see the animation there. So this is pretty good. It's a very versatile tool for a lot of things. So you, you can mess with the bass too as well. And I do believe I have an instance of it on the bass. So what I'm gonna do here is solo the bass since we had that loop. All 
All right, so I do have a side chain set up, but that that's not gonna affect what's going on here right now. I'm gonna pull up finish the Neo again. Let's go ahead and detach it this time. So that way it will stay on the screen no matter what. And let's play with it a little bit. So I have a preset called Dual Guitar Amp. And you can switch the cabinets. And you can mess with ambience level. You can mess with the amp gain in the middle. It's the original 808 right here. And let's mess with some of the other features of this baby. Let's go to spread. Turn it up a little bit. Then it's just the output right here. You can mix it too right here with the input and output so it's not so hot. And now I'm gonna slide this over and unsolo the art. Don't forget, of course, you can go back into your tools and go into last tweak or however you set up your automa your automation in your DAW. I'm gonna go ahead and set that up since I have a point here. And we're gonna experiment with it. And then I'll bring up Finish a Neo again after the fact. So I'm gonna use a different effect. I'm gonna use waves instead of pulse. And now I'm just gonna make some points. Boom. see the crazy automation let's bring up the output a little bit yeah not bad not bad at all so tell me how you feel about this plugin. I definitely think it is really good that they simplified some of the controls of this plugin because a lot of people don't want to twist on a lot of parameters to get some results. And some people are very confused by that. So I do understand that they aimed at more of the beginners than they have the experts and stuff like that. However, I do think it is a minor con that they did not add any expert features of any source but at the same time i bring it back to the pros because it is very cpu light so therefore you can use a whole bunch of them and i experienced a lot of multi-band or multi-effect plugins that do not work as such and they do load up a lot of your cpu they just take up a lot of virtual memory and it's just a pain in the butt so that's actually a really good thing that it does do that inside of that it does come with a lot of presets so that's really cool so that's another pro so i can't really knock it for what it's worth and some of the presets are very good meanwhile a con some of them are pretty darn bad do I, Do I give this, this the stamp this, this of uh, approval? approval. I, I'll, I'll just say yes. I'll give it about an 80%. There's nothing really bad about it. 